peace and love, harmony, joy, shower within here, outside of you all. How you doing? I hope you all doing good. I'm doing fantastic. You know, this is spiritual growth and I am evolving every single day and receiving what I need to receive from must high every single day. And this is, this is, this is what I'm loving. I'm loving my growth. This is spiritual growth and I'm just growing, you know, every single day, every moment, you know. Peace and love, God and goddesses. <laughs> Today I want to talk about the black woman black woman wow melanated goddess right here and all the other goddesses is not about the color but know your mama know your mama respect your mama always <laughs> welcome welcome beautiful friends beautiful friends welcome so my topic is the black woman today so much hate been going on on mother nowadays on earth why why i'm blessed to have melanin on my body this is mama right here <laughs> how you all doing i hope you're all doing good i'm receiving so much every single day everything that I need to know from must high because I'm realizing one thing is that you know realizing one thing is that there is nothing no book no teacher nobody can teach me or taught me anything that I want to know because re by reading books it gives me knowledge but by reading myself within gives me the wisdom and I'm the wisdom collector right here baby <laughs> so let us dive deep I'm meditating every single day for four hours and I'm receiving all the higher messages that I really need to know from from the highest dimensions because everything lays within you know and I can just tell you as your sister right here but you all have to experience it by yourself in order to know the truth because the truth is always will be the truth no matter what no matter how far you go so the truth is that God is the black mama the earth is black mama the god is the feminine energy if you want to see it as an image if you want to see it as a light if you want to see it as energy different colors whatever whatever you want to see it like is know that god <laughs> god is us god and goddesses black mama is the goddess before everything even created she's the one that created every other thing on the existence that you are seeing right now because first first of all she was on uh, no alone it's the dark baby it's the dark before she even created the light she was just her is the energy and slowly but surely she realized okay so now i gotta create something beautiful so she created this world she this is the womb that we are living in but at the same same time she was alone so now she gave birth she gave birth to the beautiful man beautiful man right here so that we can experience the life together so that we can experience the life together you know so that's why we created the man out of our own you know because if you look at the man and the woman you know <laughs> who gives give 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 gives the birth who gives the birth is the black woman that gives the birth man carry the seed so the woman made the man to carry the seed so that we can play together in order to grow every single day you know in order to be in our kingdom and play together and grow you know that's why we created this beautiful kingdom for ourselves so now slowly but surely the reproduce the reproducing got even more bigger and brighter so now we are all here as one big family we know we got different colors different races different languages you know if it was only one thing it would be very boring you know this is what we created what we created in order to experience so-called life 
it's all about higher standing, inner standing, you know, our standing, every little thing, you know. So every answers to your questions lays within you. There is nobody can come and tell you. You, you, you got to experience it, know it by yourself. When you activate yourself more and more into your highest self, that's when you can hear the answer even more. And this is what I am doing. I'm just realizing the truth. Yeah, all can come and tell me stuff, but if I don't experience it, if I don't hear it from my own voice, my higher self, I cannot believe in it, you know? I can't. So this is why we are here for. And so we created the man. We created the man so that the man so that the man can take care of us. Why do, do you think men are stronger physically? Why did we create him in that way? So that he can be the servant for us, so that he can carry stuff for us, so that he can take down the heavy uh, coconuts, so that he can you know, move the stone for me. That's why he's, he's so strong. But slowly but surely what happened, men are very egoist, egos, egoistic, you know, they're very egoistic. So what they did is that, is that they try not control the goddess right now just because ah, they're so strong. Oh, they can do anything and everything. Mm, he's like, I'm the god. Oh, I carry the seed. Oh, you know what I mean? So he become like this. So slowly but surely, now he put goddess under him. So he trying to be something that he's. He trying to be something that he's not. He can never be goddess. You know. He, how can he be a goddess? How can he be a goddess? He's God. He's God. How can he be goddess? So now, all over the world, what he did is that, it's all about understanding. So all over the world, what he did is that he trying to put all the goddess under him so that the God is going to listen to him, so that the God is going to uh, honor him, the God is going to, you know, uh, not be, sit on her throne and stuff you know and things are still happening you know lots of women they are suffering because of the men's lots of women they are not standing above how, how they how they should stand how they supposed to be they are not it's because of the men because men's don't like it men's don't want it so men's carry the seed so now now uh, he wants to take control over every other thing that's why when men's most of the men's wants the women to be under him you know but in but Truth always has to come out, you know, come to the light, you know, and truth always will be the truth no matter what, you know. Truth always gonna be the truth, you know. So this is how we know the truth cannot be hidden, you know, and, and once you are, once the truth hit you, once the truth hit you from within you, this is when you are like, wow, everything makes sense. So all the men's out here, you're all God, but you are here to really take care of the uh, women, you know, to really take care of the women, to really be native to the land so that you can farm, you know, so that you can be there, build a shelter for goddess, be, you know, take care of her and the kids, you know, that's why, that's why you are here. So why not we all just take care of our women? Why not we all give love and respect to our women, you know? We, yeah, you all men and women, it's not that women are here, men are here. It's not that women are here, men are here. No, we are equal. We are equal exactly right here. We are all God and goddesses on earth and this is our kingdom. So let's live together. Let's give each other the same love and respect instead of having an ego like this. Like, no, you have to be down. You have to be under me. You have to listen to me. You have, I'm going to control you. No, it's not going to happen like this, you know. Once all the women come back to their throne and really sit in throne, that's when you all have to really listen to her. Because we women, we are highly spiritual beings. We are the mothers of the earth. We are the womb that men have to come through. You know, we are the home. You know, whole earth is Mama Gaia, Mama Earth, Mother Nature. You are still living in the womb. So why not give all the love and respect to Mama? Why not take care of the earth? Why not give the same love and respect that you're gonna, you are giving to the earth, same love and respect you are going to give to your woman that is next to you? She's the one that got your back. She's the one that gives you strength. She's the one that makes you strong. She's the one that fights for you. So we all want the man to do the same instead of just, instead of just uh, disrespecting 
you know, instead of just thinking with your ego, you know, and trying to control and make, make the goddesses lower. Goddess always rise, no matter what, you know. And I feel sorry. I feel really sorry for the world, what is happening right now in many continents of this world, my friends. The world, the art is very beautiful, but the people on the world is, they're, they're very different. They try to do so many things, but they're not going anywhere anyway. So, once I realized it, that, you know, we are the um, we are the creator of this creation and when the goddess know herself and she's gonna sit on her throne, no man can really co take control of her, you know. So it's good to be the servant for her, it's good to be that pure love for her, you know. That's why we are here for, you know. So, always give love and respect, always give love and respect to your sister, to your mother, to your brother to your papa everybody is one you know everybody is one we came from one god and now we are we are so many gods out here you see we are divine beings right here we are divine beings we are we are much more than you can even imagine you know so i also wanna at the same time i also wanna talk about um the things that I wrote down today on my notebook is um, everything start to make sense once you are in tune within your heart, you know, because all the answers to your question lays within. So it's all about the, the inner standing of the mind, body and spirit, you know. And uh, black woman is the goddess, you know, give birth by herself to the man to enjoy life, you know. So. That means, that means that we have to honor mama, we have to honor and respect mama, you know. And most of the men, they do want to make her feel down. They do want to make her feel that she's weak because they got a strong body. They got a strong body. But it's not about the body. Why do you even got the body? There is a reason why you have strong body. There is always reason behind everything, you know, so don't be so egoistic, you know, love, love, we are both equal, we are both equal, listen, listen, love and respect to the goddess, always, you know. So now also understand the mind, body and spirit, you know, mind, body, spirit, these three things. Mind is separated. The mind is not the spirit. Body is not the spirit. These two right here, these two right here is separated from the spirit. Spirit is different. Spirit is the heart. Where, where the spirit lives is in heart chakra. Heart chakra is the seed of everything that lights up everything. Heart chakra is the main. So now once you realize that, that you are not your thoughts, you are not your feelings. The thoughts comes from your mind and the feelings from your thoughts creates the feelings within your body which is not you it's, it's not you but but you as a sp spirit if you don't know about yourself you will always get in tune with your thoughts and the feelings so now you, now you will be disconnected from your true self which is the heart you will be disconnected from yourself so once you realize yourself once you realize your true self, so now your thoughts, your feelings cannot have any control over you. Because right now on earth, what's happening is that, is that many of the spirits, they're allowing their mind, their body to rule them. Let me repeat it, most of the spirits, if they don't know who they are, so they're allowing their mind to take control over them. They're allowing their body to take control over them. That's why it's so much destruction on earth right now. Because when it's too much destruction within in yourself, that is the destruction that is outside. Because nothing is really outside, outward. Everything is internal. Everything is internal. The world is you. The world is you. I'm just the reflections of you. You are seeing me from within in yourself. It's not that I'm external, I'm outside. No, I'm living within you. We are all gods and goddesses right here in our kingdom living life. Living life. 
So once you submit, once your body and mind submit to God, which is the spirit to God, now you're going to start to realize yourself, recognize yourself. Now you're going to be even more authentic self so that now you're going you, so to become of more of your true self and now you're going to realize that you, this is your kingdom. The earth is our kingdom. We are here to live peacefully, joyfully, pray, meditate, do all the beautiful things so that we can always be on that highest consciousness. Do you got me? So it's all about understanding, you know, and there are so many things out there for one to really develop oneself, to really reach to that level of consciousness, you know. And the people, and the people, and the people who who are not ready to receive this message right here, they are not ready. They are, we are, it's not that I'm saying you are lower than me or higher than me, it's just that we are on different level of consciousness. The consciousness is always one, but not everybody is vibrating on the same level of frequency, you know. Some people, they are vibrating on the ninth dimension. Some people, they're still on the third dimension. And this is the 3D. Most of us is dealing with the 3D dimensions, you know. But remember, we are all ninth dimensional beings being we are we came from the most highest dimension so now we are experiencing the dimensions but we are here to really develop ourselves to go back to the ninth dimension again that's why it's lots of teaching going out there lots of beautiful teaching through meditation we can come to this through yoga fasting praying you know so many things that's why it's good to take your own action because I cannot I cannot walk the path for you, you know. I can't do it. You yourself have to walk the path for yourself in order to develop your spiritual journey, your spiritual world, to, to really transform to higher dimensions. All I can do as a sister right here, just show you the way, show myself so that you can be inspired, you know. <laughs> so this is why we are here. We are living, you know, we are living peacefully, joyfully, moving forward, shifting higher and higher into the dimension to dimension, you know. We didn't came here to really stay in the third dimension and dealing with so much emotions and thoughts, lower thought frequencies, you know. We are here to develop into our highest dimension, which is the ninth dimension, where you come to realization about yourself. <laughs> you can read all books you can go to all the gurus out there trying to seek peace but when you read yourself your heart there you find all the wisdom you don't need no books all the answer to your question lays within so I, what I can say is to dive within in yourself <laughs> once you dive within in yourself you will so slowly but surely realize realize everything about yourself I'm just another <laughs> self of you I'm you I'm you <laughs> from higher dimension came to you on this third room and trying to communicate with you so peace and love peace and love allow the light to shine allow the light to shine on you because you are the light you are not what you choose to see in this third dimension you are more than this more than this <laughs> love yourself eat good and don't forget to drink lots of water Whew. loving the sun i love to sweat Ooh. makes me feel good this flower is very beautiful very beautiful but it don't have any smell well it does have any smell it does have any smell but not that sweet sweet smell though but the smell is still very sweet for me though mmm it tastes good wow hey go plant-based Keep your body, light body, because nature is our kingdom, nature is the way. If you don't eat from nature, you will not vibrate as high 
as high as like the trees and the birds and the nature itself. <laughs> love yourself. Much love. Share this video. Share this video and respect the gods and goddesses on earth. And in order to vibrate on that frequency, first of all, you have to do lots of self work to be done in order to vibrate on the God frequency. <laughs> Much love.